Okay, so this video kind of follows on from my previous video where I was talking about instant games and how I think that there's something special about them and that they might be the future of mobile games. I don't know. Let's just see how things go. But because of that video, I've gone ahead and done some research to compare Apple's app clicks to Google's Google Play Instant. Now I'm doing a comparison for games only, not for general apps. So please keep that in mind when I go through my points. Now both of these platforms are to facilitate users getting access to instant apps and that is apps that you can run without downloading them. Now the instant term is a bit misleading because you do download a part of the app on your phone but it's so small that it feels instant. Okay let's get to the comparison. So with Apple App Clips as a user you can't find it on the App Store. The only way you can find or use an app clip is through a QR code, through NFC tags, a banner in the Safari browser, a link in iMessage and I think you can access app clips through Apple Maps as well. This is different to the way Google have done it because Google Instant Apps can be accessed through the Google Play Store. And when it comes to games, Google even have their own app which is just for games and it focuses more on instant games than games you have to download. I'll talk more about this later in the video. So moving on to size, the maximum size you can make an app clip app is 10 megabytes. And Apple say this is to make the app feel instant. This is for speed reasons. Whereas with Google Play Instant, it's 15 megabytes. As you can see, this is a bigger size than Apple's app clips. And it's essentially 50% more. So with Google Play Instant, you can technically create a bigger game. But Apple does have the edge when it comes to payments because you can have payments on your app clip using Apple Pay and you can even have logins on your app using the sign in with Apple feature. But with Google Play Instant, when I was doing my research, I couldn't find somewhere that stated that you can add payments to your app or login features. But I did see it on the developers page. When it comes to Google Play games applications, you can add tasteful monetization. Going back to the table, if we look at the release dates for app clips, that came out in 2020, whereas Google Play Instant came out in 2017 and it was called Android Instant Apps. I don't know when the name changed from that to Google Play Instant, but during research, those two names cropped up quite often and it made researching quite confusing. So finally, on the support row, you can see that app clips are supported on iPhones 10 and up and iOS 14.3, which was released in 2020. Alternatively, Google Play Instant Apps support Android versions 5 and up. Android 5 was released in 2014. So in theory, if you were to make an instant game on the Google platform, you could reach more users because there might be some users that have phones that don't support newer versions of Android or people who just haven't upgraded. But with all this in mind, if I was making an app, not a game, just a general app, I think App Clips is the better option. It's easier to access functionality in an app with an NFC tag or a QR code or a link in a browser than to have to go into the Play Store or the Google Play Game Store and search for what you want and then click the button to start using it. And also, even though App Clips have a maximum size of 10 megabytes, they do support cloud delivery after the app has been launched. So this means the 10 MB limit is only needed on launch and then after that, you could put more assets in from the cloud. However, if I were making a game this year in 2022 and I wanted to know what platform I should put it on, to get more users to play my game, I would say Android. Google Play Instant has been around for a lot longer than App Clips, and it does show they have more documentation for users. They've reached out to game devs and seen how successful App Clips have made their games. And if you look at the screenshot from the Google Play Games app, you can see that they are pushing instant games. Now it's unfortunate you have to download a separate app to get this experience with instant games, but 
that's just the way Google have done it. Alternatively, with app clips, when I was doing my research, I could only find app clip game demos. And this game, Phoenix 2, was the game that came up a lot. This is not to say that you can't get app demos on Google Play as well. However, Google are actually pushing their developers to make their full games instant. Their whole game, not a demo. So it's easier for me to do research on an Android. But even knowing that, I did reach out to an iOS developer friend of mine and the impression I got was that app clips have not taken off as much as Apple might have wanted them to. With this in mind, I think there are a few things Apple could and should do in the future to boost the usage of app clips. One thing they could do is allow a larger app clip launch size, similar to what Google Play Instant do. And another thing they could do is make their app clips searchable so that if I'm an Apple user and I just want to play a game quickly to pass the time, I can search for a game or go on the list of most popular games, press one button and start playing these games instantly. One thing, however, Apple does that I think Google don't do is that once you download an app clip, you can access it from the list of apps on your phone, which is not the case with Google Play Instant Apps. If I play an instant game from Google Play Games, I cannot scroll through my list of applications and find them. Even though the game has been downloaded, I can't find it in my list of apps to play it again. Anyway, this is a video of my findings and my ramblings. I hope you found this useful. And if you are going to make a game instant, then I hope this gave you some insight as to what platform to focus on. If I'm being completely honest, there are a lot of games out there on Android in particular. I'm sure iOS has a lot of games on there as well, but there are a lot of games, they're not curated that well, so it's difficult to find the good games from the bad. And that's why I think when it comes to instant games, platforms like Snapchat, Zoom, WeChat, Facebook Instant, to a lesser extent, these platforms have much less games than Google Play or the Apple App Store. So it's easier to find a game to play with your friends on these platforms than it is in the Google Play Store or the Apple Store. I'd love to know what you think in the comments down below. And again, if you found this useful, please like and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching.